six days. Six days. Before we continue on in this video, I have a giveaway I have to announce. Somebody won. Uh, because only two people entered. But hey, it helped, it helped. I appreciate you guys, whoever entered. We have 50-50 chance here. And... Pain underscore death. You are the winner. I will contact you and send you the code for the premium personalization pack and in infinite warfare. Again, guys, I'll be doing more giveaways like this. So remember to subscribe, stay tuned. And uh, all you got to do is follow the instructions I give you to enter and you have a chance to win just like that. And again, I'm a small channel doing giveaways. It's crazy. You can easily win because this time, two people, two people. All right, let's get back to it. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's the boy, the officialist, coming back with another video on World War II, Call of Duty World War II, that is. This video is going to be on World War II and the private beta and what's to expect. But starting a couple days ago, if you pre-order the game, you could get access to their private beta. So that means you're going to have access to online multiplayer gameplay. The action first starts on PlayStation 4 for August 25th. For everything else, meaning Xbox and PC, maybe DS and Wii, maybe PSP, I don't- <laughs> The private beta access starts on September 1st, 9-1-17. And before I go on any further, for any of you who are saying, Yo, officialist, why are you playing Forza Horizon 3? Well, because I don't care. World War 2 isn't out yet. I got nothing else to play. Leave me alone. Anyway. So let's get started with the maps that are going to be introduced in the private beta. There are going to be three maps in this private beta, and one of them is called Ponte du Hawk, or Hawk, or Hook. Yeah, you could correct me right there. But this place is very, very, very interesting, especially in real life. Here's a picture of what it looks like in real life. All of those craters are from World War II and all of the chaos. I cannot imagine the stories that went down there, and that's another reason why I'm so excited for this game. It's gonna be so many awesome stories. Anyway, continuing on, the second map is gonna be Ardennes, Ardennes. I talked about this map in my other video where I actually had gameplay for this game already. You can go check that out on the screen right now in the description below. Ardennes, Ardennes is gonna be a snowy, bunker, trench-like map with tons of room to spread some chaos. Third map is Gibraltar. Gibraltar. They got no deep in the grind in the, in the fourth quarter, gonna find a way to win. What? Yeah, that's it. So those are the three maps that we're going to be able to play on. I'm really, really excited to test those out and see how they work. The game modes that we're going to have to play around with in the private beta include Team Deathmatch and Domination. Unfortunately, we are not going to have headquarters in the multiplayer beta. So it seems like they really just gave us a ton of respawn game modes. I'm okay with that. It's a private beta, but I'm almost positive in the open beta they will have a lot more maps, game types, and a lot more everything. Those are perfect just to give us the feel of what the multiplayer should feel like. A couple other things that you should expect not to see in the private beta include supply drops, loot, esports such as like ranked play, uh, the game battles beta like they added in Infinite Warfare recently, and stuff like that. And the last thing we should not be expecting, what's not going to be in the private beta, is going to be the full armory of weapons, score streaks, basic training, and equipment. So not everything is going to be there, but just enough for us to play it. Basically what I've played back at CWL Championship 2017, again that's back in my other video, you should go check that out. Again, everything was not there, they just had the preset default like mp40 certain guns you could use for each class of gun so by that being said in my experience at cwl 2017 i could say some of the guns that they're going to have in this private beta are going to include the mp40 the thompson the lewis gun which is an m16 the trench gun which is a shotgun the m1 grand and yeah that's all i can remember right now so that's really all you got to know for the private beta and now the question is is it worth it? Should you pre-order the game right now to play the private beta? My opinion? Yes. Because if you're planning to get the game at all, might as well pay for it now, get to play it early before everybody, get a bit of experience, and then when the game comes out, you still play it. You're still going to play it either way, so why not play it beforehand? Again, that's only if you're already planning to get the game. I am very excited after all this information. I don't know about you guys. If you are, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video. There's going to be a lot more information coming for World War II. And yeah, so I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.